What's going on everybody? This is Patrick from Porter's Unboxings as you know. Today guys I'm going to be making a video um, in honor of Mr. Brody Lee exalted in heaven 1979 to 2020. Unfortunately we lost this man um, two years ago um, December 26, 2020 due to a lung problem, I'm thinking. Um, he he died at 41 years old, and guys, respectfully, um, when, when I heard the news, um, I thought this, I thought this was a joke. I really did. I didn't even believe it. Like, it took me, like, 20 to 30 minutes or to close to two hours, actually, to, like, believe it, like, to let it sink in. I never wanted to make this video two years ago in the first place, because this guy was, this man was at his prime of his career. He got fired from WWE, or he left. And, um, let's see. I should know this. Um... Sorry, guys. Um, just trying. Um, on March 18th, 2020, he was revealed, revealed as the Dark Order's leader, the Exalted One. As you see on my shirt, Exalted in Heaven. And just like um, for Wrestling Media's um, question... That I did for my Q&A for, for Brody Lee's birthday. And before I mention anything else, I want to thank you so much for 130 views. I never thought that this, especially that q and I, I knew it would get like top view views, but I never thought 130 that's how many people, and way much more than 130, loved this man. And, and so, w, um, um, Wrestling Media's chant, um, question, my bad, I'm just trying to resolve my emotions here. Um, what did you think of his run in AEW? When he came in to AEW, I'm like, because Tony Khan, I believe, let um certain people like uncensored promos, like CM Punk, John Moxley, Brian Danielson, and Kenny Omega, Adam Cole. But yes, um, Brody Lee wasn't on a leash. Like he was in WWE. With Vince McMahon. Um, the Wyatt family and the Shield had a great match at Elimination Chamber 2014. Um, I wish that... Well, go, I'll go back to a AEW in a minute. But um, I wish he had more um, chances in WWE. Um Meaning that um, more title opportunities. He won the Intercontinental Championship in November of 2014. His first main roster title. Like for a single star. Um, but. Like I said. Um, he should have had this shot at the world title. Um, do. <laughs> I swear to God. Um, please put down in the comments right now. Do you think this man should have been 
WrestleMania 33, 2017. Should he have been in the world title match with Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt? My answer, yes. The, the Wyatt family, besides Eric Rowan, um, in a match, the, the new Wyatt family for the world title. I mean, the story wrote itself, and they still didn't do it. At least he won the tag team titles with the Wyatt family before he um before he got released. And with the with Eric Rowan as well. The Brudgeon Brothers coming in in 2013 with Bray Wyatt and and Eric Rowan. This team changed the game. Just like the Shield did a year earlier in 2012. Two great teams battling it out at the Chamber in 2014. Great stuff. <clears throat> so, so now let's go back into to AEW. Um, just like he had creative control. He was the head leader of the Dark Order. Change, changed the game too. Um, he won the TNT title. Um, no, that's, that's not what I want. This is what I want. Um, he won the title. Um, he's, he's the second TNT champion, um, ever. And they gave the championship to, to... To Brody Lee Jr. Now, now this changed the the landscape of AEW, like Cody and Darby Allen and Sam Guevara did. Um, but his best match in AEW, besides where is it? Um. Besides this one, with John Moxley at double or nothing for, for the AEW title, where he kicked out of the paradigm shift after being sent through the floor by Mox. Um, his best match is unfortunately his last match. Um... In AEW at this point, um, October 7th, 2020, this was a dog collar match against Cody Rhodes, and it was fire. It was legit awesome. Um, and when he took the title off Cody, that was like a squash match, but a perfect squash match. Um... What? You don't know me yet. But let me introduce myself. I am the Exalted One. My name is Mr. Brody Lee. And like... I don't know. It's like the Bray Wyatt stuff. Like when he got released. Like where, where is he going to show up? And there was promos and all that stuff with the White Rabbit and all that. But we're not talking about that right now. But, like, that's what Brody Lee, like, was in AEW. Like, where's he gonna show up? The lights. Like this. Brody Lee's AEW entrance. Like this, the exalted one. Um, that's not that's not what I want. No, 
um, this. Like when we saw that, we knew we knew he was off and to to do better things. And and this was only in March. He 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 died today, two years ago. So, what does AEW do? They come out with the figure. And I'm not big into figures anymore. Like, not at all. But when they come out with this figure, I said to my mom, um, please take me to Walmart, GameStop, or wherever. So, during, um, I think Thanksgiving I got this. Um, probably... Uh, it? Not Revolution 2022. It was Double or Nothing 2022 that I watched with my friend. Um, so, a couple... Um, that yesterday, I went to um, um, GameStop. I said, do you have any figures? Because I pre-ordered the AEW Fight Forever game. So I said, do you have any figures? I've been searching for this figure for th two years at this point. And, and they had it. The TNT titles around his waist, the roll papers... And just that shot of Brody Lee and his ridiculous beard that I still love at this point. Um, this was um, on Saturday Night Dynamite, um, August 22nd, 2020, Jacksonville, Florida. He never got... <sighs> He never got to wrestle in front of his hometown. He never got to wrestle in front of his hometown in AEW. And when he was fighting in, in WWE, you, you know Vince McMahon says, like, if you're in your hometown, you're, you're going to lose. So, I don't know if that was still, um, but... Um, what was I looking up? Um, yeah, j just him with the suit. Um, great figure. Oh, I, I was, I was looking up this real quick. Uh, um, I will be getting, well, I hope to ringside collectibles.com. Yeah, so what do you miss about Brody Lee? Um, and speaking of that, um, wrestling, um, the wrestling king, no, um, wrestling media says, what do you miss about him? I miss his charisma. Guys, he was a big guy. And he used to do suicide dives through the ropes. He used to go on the top rope, which you don't see many um, big guys do that. So, speaking of this, and it's at a very good price right now. At 25 bucks. I want this. So bad. If you, um, in memory of Brody Lee. Um, yeah, so I might do that and never open it. And then it, um, this is on the back in memory of John Huber, Huber um, which is, which was his real name. Um, here too. Um, yeah, but this was a huge loss to the wrestling community. And, uh, oh. Yes. I, 
I never knew that this came with the TNT belt or title. I, I don't care what you call it. But, yes. And then... Okay. I think I'm going to buy this um thing. Um, I, I don't know yet, but it, it is definitely one of the top figures that I want. And guys, I just said, I don't buy figures. I don't buy them, but I want this so bad. So, um, speaking of this, would you change anything about Brody Lee's character in either promotion? No. Well, in WWE, yes. Give him the world title. I would have gave him the world title if I was running the promotion. If if I was running WWE, oh yeah, hell yeah, I would give him the title. Um. Now, guys, um, please put down in the comments... Do you think AEW will have a Hall of Fame like WWE like WWE has? But do you, do you guys think that? Because the number one guy who would go in the Hall of Fame first, Brody Lee. <laughs> Brody Lee. I would have never thought you would have died, especially as young as you as young as you were. But didn't he have an? Oh, uh, what you think of the tribute from from AE? So put down in the comments. Do you think AEW should have a Hall of Fame, or do you think Tony Khan would just mess it up? Um. What did you think of the Brody Lee tribute from, from AEW? I thought it was spot on and very upsetting. Um, in a good way. Um, to make everyone cry and all that. But yeah, I thought I thought it was very well done. Um, I liked the music video, um, the tribute to him, um, giving the TNT title to Brody Lee Jr. The Celebration of Life, I think it was called. Um, guys, and if you didn't see... Oh, this was when he won the TNT title from Cody. Yeah. I didn't remember that, but I should have. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, the celebration of life was v was very well done, and I'm surprised that they had some they had some WWE superstars in the package. Like he had Seth Row, they had Seth Rollins, Big E, Kofi Kingston. I I think Bray Wyatt even made an appearance on that as well, but I'm not sure about that. But yeah, um, just a bunch of people like saying like a bunch of things uh, about how good that he that he was to him. Chris Jericho made an appearance. Cody Rhodes before he left. Um, yeah, it's just very sad times today. Um. For me and a bunch of other people, I'm thinking of Brody Lee today. Um, what you think of his run in AEW? I thought it was spot on. Um, the member, um, the leader of the Dark Order, um, slapping John Silver with papers. Um, Evil Uno Ten. Um, even though he made a heel turn on Brody Lee Jr. Which was not okay. Not okay by you. Um, I wish it was Wednesday though. I wish it was Wednesday so they could honor him again. But 
It's Sunday. And I'm very glad that Bray Wyatt has, like, the light that Brody Lee had with his hand um, in his entrance. And I just like the suit that, that Brody Lee had um, in AEW. So what am I going to miss about him? I'm going to... I'm I'm just gonna make I'm just gonna say this. I like I like all of his matches. I enjoy the 2014 Elimination um Chamber um six man tag team match. I enjoy the dog collar match a lot. Even though that was his last match. Um Yeah yeah, we lost a, a true soul. Brody Lee, you will not, you will, I can't speak, damn it. Um, um, Brody Lee, you will never be forgotten, um, by your fans, by, by, by everybody. Guys, and if you don't know where this shirt came from, it came from, from AEW Shop. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the shirt real fast. Before we leave here today. And he is still on the active roster. Which is awesome. <laughs> Where is he? Here is all the shirts, and it's twenty nine ninety nine, and I think I got mine for about twenty bucks. So there's, so there are all the shirts that he has on the shop. Um, and if you buy this shirt, the Exalted in Heaven shirt. It will, all proceeds go to, it goes to benefit the family of Brody Lee. Um, washing instructions, turn shirt inside out, wash on gentle, cold water, no bleach, dry with low settings, and hang dry for best results. I, ha I haven't done that, and it still looks great. You have the Dark Order um, symbol right here. And I think with the, with my money I got for Christmas, I might buy... Um, I am definitely buying this for $25. Um, I might just buy this. And this shirt goes to the John Huber... Um, Legacy Foundation. No coupon needed. And it's made in Chicago. So I'm not sure if I'm going to grab that one. But I really want to grab another Brody Lee shirt. Um, the Exalted one. Yeah, but what shirt are you going to grab from AEW Shop for Brody Lee? And guys, this has been Patrick from Pours Unboxings. I'm um, celebrating the life of Brody Lee on his on the day of his um, death. Um, I never, um, no one ever thought that that bro like we all know that WWE wrestlers pass away, but not at the age of 41. Uh, although we um. Lost um Shad, I think at thirty nine, um by drowning. Yep, thirty nine um in May of twenty twenty. But yeah, um, no one ever thought Brody Lee Lee would die. Like this is a man that cannot be killed, but. He unfortunately passed away December 26th today, two years ago. 
So this is me celebrating the life of Brody Lee two years later. And I will do this video every single year as long as I have a YouTube channel. And it's, I believe it's going to get sadder and sadder every year. But what did you think of the tribute that um, th that AEW did for Mr. Brody Lee? Um, the 10 bell salute. Um, Cody Rhodes giving the boots and the TNT title to, 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 to Brody Lee Jr. And guys, tw 2023 is going to hit different in the new year for my channel. So guys, if you if you haven't already, please comment down below and hit that red subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the in the next video. Guys, this this has been Patrick Forrest Unboxings. Peace out.